Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Tonight's night 22 and my nightly recording of a coding bat solution while schools are closed. Today we're going to look at same first last, uh, which is in list one, and this is the Python solution. Given an array of ints, return true if the array is length one or more, and the first element and the last element are equal. And we can look at the examples here. In this first case, we see that the first and last element, first element, last element, are not equal, so we get false. In this case, they are equal, so we get true. In this case, they are equal, so we get true. So once you do this problem, you'll think it's pretty simple, but there's so many rich ideas for a beginning programmer to pull out of this. Um, and that's what we're hoping to draw on here. So the first way I'm going to do this is I'm going to do it using a couple lines, and then I'll tighten it up, and then I'll do it again with a one-liner. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable called L, and I'm going to store the length of nums. You don't have to do this. I just like to do this uh, when I'm working with beginning programmers because it just makes it cleaner and easier to figure things out. And it really highlights that idea that I'm pulling out the length of nums because remember, the reason why I use this is the last index is always one less than the length. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a length check because what it says is we return true if the array is length one or more. So if, if L is equivalent to zero, we're going to return false. Now, I know some of you who might be more experienced are looking at me saying, wait, there's a better way to do this, and yes, there is, but just pause for a second. Um, and now I'm going to put if nums at zero is equivalent to nums at the length minus one, because remember, the last element is in, is in index length minus one. Well, then we're going to return true, and otherwise we return false. And I hit go, and it works. Now, there's let's let's tighten this up a little bit. So the first thing here is that, well, can't I just take this? I can use the Boolean operator, and I can actually make this an AND statement. So instead of checking first if the length is equivalent to zero, um, return false, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it at the same time inside the statement and just check to make sure the length is greater than zero. But before I do that, I'm going to delete that line, and I'm just going to hit go. And look at this. I get this index out of range error, and this is a really big idea. The idea is that in a case where I have a, a list of length 0, that is going to be invalid. So I have to do that check. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. And bells might be going off now for you, but I'm going to say and length is greater than 0. Should work now, right? It doesn't. The reason why it doesn't work, and this is a really subtle point, is because conditional statements are evaluated from left to right. So this gets evaluated first. And only if that's true, then check this. But again, but what we want to do is flip that, because here's the thing. If we say here L is greater than 0, and because this length check is first, what it's going to do is if this fails, it won't actually check this, and that's what's crashing the program. And now if I hit go, there it is. So I hope you see from this is that what is... Otherwise, a simple question. There's a lot of really rich ideas to pull out from this as a beginning programmer. Now, it's always fun to one-liner this, so let's just do that. So I'm just going to return. And again, like I said, we calculated the length and we stored it in a variable, but we don't have to do that. I'm just going to return length of nums is greater than zero, and nums at zero is equivalent to nums at length of nums minus one. Now hit go, and there it is. So I hope this video helped, and if you ever have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Remember, you can find all of these solutions with comments on my Git repository, which is put into the comments below. Have a great day.